Hey guys, so welcome back to Judgment. Let's carry on where we left off. We're on the hunt for Red Nose, and that is not a Christmas reference. Despite the fact that it's November, and Mariah Carey is already defrosting, and people think it's appropriate to start decorating. Dactuality, I think I've discovered Red Nose's location. It was me all along in real life, because I've been sick as a dog the past couple of days. Having to wipe my nose constantly with tissues made me resemble the madman who thought it was a good idea to rob the Matsugane family of 100 million yen and cost Kaito his position in the family. So, we're heading to Charles to get some information because Red Nose did end up floating in the sewers after catching a bullet. It's possible Higashi was responsible. We're already here. Maybe he is too. Alright, spill the intel. Oh. There's more of you now. Yagami's here, and Kaito's with him. Higher protection since the last time we encountered each other. Wow. <laughs> Never thought I'd see you roll in here. Kaito-san. Oof. Only seemed fair after what you pulled. Look, we need to talk. Jeez. <laughs> and about what, exactly? Red Nose. Because... Red Nose. Did you kill him last year? Bet he had more than a red nose by the time you were done with him. Don't play dumb. The guy who broke into the Matsugane family office. Look, we already know you got the money back from him. <laughs> There's and no point hiding after, it. Oh, my finger's going through my pocket. Nose turned up dead in the sewers. As for the cause, it seems he'd been shot. Whoa! I don't suppose by that gun. Fucker! How dare you! Even your friends look I need shocked. You to answer me. Did you kill Red Nose or not? Start talking, Higashi. Go on. I did it for you, man. If I could have just gotten the money. And now you're pointing Maybe a gun I at him. Have kicked you out of the fucking family. I was ready to do whatever I needed to do. For Kaito, huh? If you really mean it, then drop the goddamn gun! Not right? Chance. So it's all on the table. You really gonna kill us, huh, Higashi? Are you man enough, sir? Oh my god. <laughs> it's over. You don't have enough bullets in that damn gun. You can't kill us all. Not to mention, he's a cyborg. Ugh. Oh, damn, it was loaded. Fully loaded. And you aimed that at us? How dare you. Bastard! Oh. Cutscene power. Sorry. What are you doing? Take him out. Thanks for that. Now go. Fuck you! <laughs> Thanks for stopping by, homeless people, damn, for that one good. part of the scene. Oh. Now get out of here. This is what I pay you for, Kaito san. <laughs> Fuck yeah! Kaito's ready. He hasn't even rolled up his sleeves. Alright, let's do this. Sorry to say we're not that homeless bum red nose. We're gonna be a lot harder to kill. Ugh. This place is gonna get trashed again. Oh no, I'm stuck in a corner. Ugh. Get me out of here! Emergency! Kick all the cabinets! Ugh. I need my legs to fly more, damn it! Ugh. There we are. Oh, nice swing. Here we go again! Ah, oh, Kaito! Saving my life. Ugh. Charles employee, you don't even have a name! Uh, well, I 1v1'd him. <laughs> See you later. Come on, Higashi. It's just 1v2 now. And, but we're both low on health. I'm a stubborn mofo. I ain't gonna heal until the last second. Oh boy. Oh! Ooh. <laughs> Tick and tag team juggles in the house. Nice dodge. Oh man. Call that a quick time event, Nagashi. I had 10 years to press square. I think his spine is broken. 
possibly. Don't quote me on that. He's standing up straight. Now my spine's broken. He got me good. Here we go. <laughs> Another tag team. Oh, that is that is sexy. Now I'm glad I didn't heal myself so I could redo the fight and see that in action. Huh. Still though, I should probably keep my ego in check and heal when I need to. Charles employee, get out of here. Thought I buried you under those arcade cabinets. Triangle this time. Tricky monkey. Is it just me or is Higashi only focused on me? That's a neat little combat tactic. Ugh. Kaito, hit him! Hit him, I'm distracting him! Never mind, I'll do it. I shouldn't make you have to fight your brother. <sighs> I didn't. I didn't kill him. Why didn't you just say what? so? Why did you have to act like I'm you did? I'm not the one who murdered Red Nose. Then who the hell was it? You have a red nose now, though. Red nose must have had a contact in the Matsugane family. That's the only way he got away with it. An inside job. And whoever that contact was gave him all sorts of info. And probably when killed him. When security was light. Where the safe was. Not to mention when there'd be the most money. And if it wasn't you... There's no way you steal from the Yakuza without some help. It must be Habara. So, is red nose's contact the one who killed him? To cover it all up? And to tie this to the main story, probably. of course. But who would have done something like that? Stealing their own family's money. Who, I wonder. It wasn't about the money. Uh oh. They wanted to rub you out of the picture, Kaito. Yep. That's why it happened when you were on guard duty. To rub me out? If that's it, then the contact must have been... Yeah. Captain Hamra. <gasps> oh my god. You were the only thing between him and total control of the family. I'm surprised, though. He didn't With kill gone, Kaito. He could consolidate his power. At least that's how he saw it. He just had him and he wasn't expelled wrong. or exiled from the family. Now. Yeah. Nobody can stand up to the captain anymore. Not even you, Higashi? With the power and money he's got, he's the only thing keeping us afloat. So Hamura staged a robbery and pinned it on Kaito-san to get him expelled. But if Higashi knows all that, why is he at Hamura's beck and call? How are exactly you, did Red Nose die? Are you undercover? You know, don't you, Higashi? You're gonna tear him apart from the inside? the day after the hundred mil went missing. After Kaito Anaki got expelled. I bought some info from a dirty cop. Led me right to the name Red Nose. Ayabe, was it? I asked it? all around town. Till eventually I ended up down in the sewers. But me and Red Nose, we weren't the only two there. You found Hamura, didn't you? They were making a deal. Hamura was gonna get 90 mil. Red Nose would have walked away alive. Huh. And 10 million yen richer at that. Should have been all wrapped up. Clean and easy. Wouldn't that have been suspicious if Hamura suddenly came in a 90 million yen? When 100 mil is missing? In any case, looks like Red Nose wasn't happy with the deal. Oh god. Who's there? Come out! Hamura, is that him? It's Higashi, sir! Sorry to barge in on you like this. Higashi. What in the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> are you alone? I, uh, I don't know if you realize, but that's the guy. That's Red Nose. He stole the hundred mil from our office. Sorry, Red Nose. This is nothing personal. <gasps> oh. Oh. I caught him. I caught the guy. I caught the guy that stole the hundred million yen. <laughs> Hey, um, that really a good idea. You could make Higashi the inside Tell man. Me, how'd you find out Red Nose was the thief? I, uh, I, well, I, uh, 
Uh, yeah, I, I, my detective's intuition. What was I supposed to do? I told him everything. How I was in the office when the thief broke in and stole the money. Ooh. How I bought police info from Ayabe and followed the trail to Red Nose. I kept talking, like my fucking life depended on it. Probably did, to be honest. Quite the contrast to who he is now. Hmm. Real insightful. You did all that so you could clear your buddy Kaito's name, huh? Aren't you just the most loyal boy in town? <laughs> Please. Let me adopt you. Don't shoot. Whatever it is you want. I'm begging you, Captain. But, Captain, hold on. You sure? Uh, probably right. You want to stay alive. You show us some loyalty. Prove yourself once and for all. Finish Red Nose. How, how can I? Here's how. What? Hamra loves this. He wouldn't this have gig. Had to die if you didn't show your sorry face. Not only that, he would have walked away ten million richer. Poor son of a bitch. His blood's on your hands, you know. No. <laughs> well. Oh, wow. You scream like a fucking whore. God. Kind of a turn on, to be honest. Oh, boy. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Dirty. Considering we're in the sewers. Higashi literally Hamra's right hand man at this point. Now I understand why he was so wishy washy about killing Red Nose. You mean a real like a dragon, Hamura? Franchise name's changed. So you really didn't kill him, huh? No. But people know I was out looking for him. My prints are all over the gun, too. So anyone can put two no and two together? Look at it. I don't got an alibi. I mean, you were literally there, so there is, of course, no alibi. What would your alibi be? Oh, yeah, I was at the sewers at the same time he died, yes. In fact, I was standing right in front of his body when he died. Yeah, totally. True. The cops probably would suspect him. And, I mean, he all but pulled the trigger because Hamura was right beside him. You said it yourself. I look like a real Yakuza now. I was thinking the same thing. So hey, you embraced it. What if we told Matsugane-san about this? Think he could put the squeeze on Hamura? You might think we're just Not making up chance. tales. The boss can't stop him anymore. Telling him would just make things worse. He's self-sustaining now. That's why Higashi kept it a secret. Tough as it sounds, it was the right move. Right. Hell of a thing. All right, I'm gonna go, Kaito-san. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm done here. This is between the two of you now. I'm sure you've got a lot to catch up on. I've got another date to fail. Catch up time with the boys. Wish I could have stayed for the whiskey. Not sure what it is. I just can't stand that guy. <laughs> yeah? I mean, he's known you way longer than I have. And the boss has his back, even though he never swore up. You jelly. I don't know. Something's just off about him. <laughs> hey, you ever hear what happened to his dad? Nope. What happened? Let me start from the beginning. From what I've heard, he was a stand-up guy. <laughs> Taught him kung fu and everything. He was a lawyer, too. Oh, yeah? Things changed when Tak was 15. His dad took a dead-to-rights murder case and actually managed to get an acquittal. One of the victim's relatives wasn't too happy about that, though. Oh, well, that sounds familiar. <laughs> a dead-to-rights murder case? Conviction being quashed? When Tuck was younger, his parents were both stabbed to death. Oh, no. Tuck was at a friend's house when it happened. Bloody hell. He was there to avoid them. Pissed about the hours they were working. But maybe if he'd been home... 
Maybe he could have done something. Anything. Or he could have been the third corpse on the floor. What a grisly scene. So he ran away from his problem. So this guy who killed the family. Did they ever catch him? And the problem got taken care of in the most the of tragic the way possible. Tragic doesn't even begin to describe it. Tark ended up coming to Kamurocho right after that. Didn't want any help from his relatives, neither. Oof. So he lied about his age and snagged a job at Tender. It's a pretty heavy history for Tark. So that's when he met you, huh? Yeah. And if you want the truth, I wasn't too big on the guy at first, either. I was pretty green at the time, too. But here comes this 15-year-old punk picking a fight with the Yakuza my size. <laughs> the ball's on that one. Probably thought he stood a chance. <laughs> Probably. Until I broke his nose. Oh, no. <laughs> but no matter how much he gets beaten down, Tok's not the kind of guy to give up. And now he pays my wages. Every time I beat the crap out of him, he'd act like it was no big deal. Then one day, and I couldn't tell you why, Matsugane-san took a shine to him. But this weird father-son thing just kind of happened. Tak wouldn't listen to anyone else. I wonder why I embraced For me and you, becoming Yakuza was our only choice. But for him, it was different. And if I had to guess, the boss could see that. And that's why I took him in. I mean, he didn't even become Yakuza anyway. didn't let him anyway. down, though. Ended up passing the bar exam not long after. I remember. Wasn't too pleased with it myself. <laughs> <laughs> but that's all in the past. It's different now. Still don't know what what's up with this, you know? I'm He's quite intrigued. What are you and Matsugani san still seeing him? Tenacity. I could ask the same question about a guy who got kicked out for letting his safe get robbed. Kamurocho chews up guys like us. And when it spits you out, you're right back on the street. But me and him, we grew up here. We don't have another home. So even if it means butting heads with Captain Hamura, we're gonna see this shit through. We're cockroaches. Can't get rid of us that easy, Hamura. Anaki. The captain's word is absolute. At least for now. But if he ever gave the order to off you, I might have to think twice about it. I'll I'll take that. You know what? <laughs> I think I can live with that. That's fine. The fact that you hesitate is probably all we need. <laughs> Although you did point a loaded gun at us. Oh yeah, recap time. Bring my sick ass up to speed. Mole, Chief. The Matsugani family's net tightens. A year ago, Kaito was expelled from the family, and its power structure changed entirely. I'm taking full control. The whole thing was a setup. Even Matsugane is a Kamarajo, mere puppet. Men are pulled into the criminal underworld's currents. But those that refuse to submit to its tides will always struggle. Very profound. Okay, not much in the way of a recap. Basically focus on what happened literally ten minutes ago. Fair enough. Skeletons in the closet. It's chapter four. I think we carry on with the story side of things to give my voice as much of a break as I can. What's got a family office? Uh, Charles employee. So, Higashi. Wow. Tell me, you have a good reason you aren't doing what I asked? No. I don't, boss. Looks like we interrupted his morning you run. sure could use one with talk still hanging around. It's time to start doing your damn job! <laughs> Jeez, well at least he healed up from his cuts and bruises last night. Right quick. Because he's about to get a whole bunch of new ones. Got a light? Yeah. Hmm. <sighs> Cab's awfully tense lately. <laughs> I think he's tense all the time. Room, you know. 
Huh? <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah. He's Literally. In such a bad mood. Uh oh. <laughs> Who's coming up behind him? Whoa! Holy shit! Oh my god, it's Jing Wan! Oh boy! Innocent civilians are getting hit. Not even the guy's stooge caught a bullet. Holy shit! Okay! This war is heating up! Damn! Well, that's one way to start a chapter. Bloody heck. Meanwhile, I'm just drinking my coffee. One dead, one wounded in the Tojo clan's Matsugane office shooting. Office shooting? Dead guy's name was Kurimoto. Been in the family for years. Didn't take place outside? Did I know him? Doubt it. He didn't make a habit of standing out. Yeah. Well, at least they got the killer. Apparently he says he's just an office worker. Bullshit. Guy's a Kyorei assassin, no doubt. He had the, uh, sure? Jigwon leather jacket yep. signature. At least, that's what Higashi told me. Oh, you mean the guy who was ready to shoot me the other day? <laughs> you still sore about that? It was a loaded gun! Anyway, according to Higashi, this guy shot Kurimoto three times in the torso. Then, he shot both his eyes out. Why? Send the message. Must Kyorei's idea oh, yeah. of revenge. Exactly. If things keep going like this, though, even the Tojo clan proper might end up getting involved. Ooh. So the Kyore clan wants a war. Looks like it. Kamurocho's turning into a goddamn battlefield. Well. We better go underground. At the sewers. Might make for a pretty good bunker. Meet with Higashi. The guy who tried to shoot me the other day. Brilliant. Higashi was in the office when the shooting happened. Probably wouldn't hurt to swing by the arcade and get the scoop. Uh, yep, sure. Hopefully the employee's also doing very well. How are the jobs looking? Don't look like we got any new ones. Uh, oh, I see. We've got some prerequisites for a couple of them. Main story progress. I need to clear some other side cases. Okay, okay. I see how it is. No worries. Well, let's go meet with Higashi. I've got plenty of time to clear out these side cases. I think there's like 16 chapters or something in this game. According to the achievement list. Hmm? Why is Hoshino could call me? Good question. Only one way to find out. Hello? This is Yagami. Yagami-san! You gotta help me! Hey, what's the matter? There's been an incident at the Genda Law Office! Huh? What do you mean? Just... Something terrible happened! You've got to get down here! Yeah. Alright, I'll be right there. Oh, great. Don't tell me there was a shooting outside the law office, too. I wonder what was with this assassin. You know, you can't really call yourself an assassin if you're going to blatantly shoot someone like that and hang around and get caught. You know? I feel like... Assassin's the wrong word for it. Maybe Patsy? Oh, kitty! Ah, Is this the one Nekomiya's son's looking for? Time to send him a picture. Alright, hold still, don't move. Yeah, there you go, nice- No, look at me! Damn it! Oh man, I made the mistake of accidentally activating a filter. I didn't realize there were a million of them. Moody, emotional, ice cold, scorching, lemon, two bit retro. Okay, there we are. I saw you look at me. Come on, do it again, do it again. Do it again, for Papa Yagami. There we are. Nice. Hello? Nikami aside, I think I found your calico. I just sent you a text. Yep, that's the one. You've done very well, Yagami-san. I'm so glad he's safe. Oh, you had me so worried. Good kitty. <laughs> See, I told you he'd be just fine. But there are two more that haven't been found. Huh? What? There's more? Yes. I'd like for you to find the tabby next. I often see him in Little Asia. He always ends up in some high, hard-to-reach spot. So he's a climber, huh? Alright, I'll see if I can find him. Time to search for places only a cat could climb in Little Asia. Oh, Little Asia still exists. Sheesh. It's been around since the 80s. Okay. I'll make a note of that. Hopefully I won't forget. Oh, wow. Little Asia is not so little anymore. I remember it was just a bunch of skinny alleys. Now they got their own town square going on. 
Let's go check it out because I know I'm going to forget. Oh, it's here. Ah, oh, yes. I was wondering what this place was. It's like all under construction. Or is it abandoned? Maybe they're working on expanding it. Dented carbon. Hard to reach places. Tabby, I hear you. I see you. Did I hear a cat just now? I swear they're everywhere I go. Like the landlady who keeps putting food in my fridge. She's walking everywhere. It really is way up there. Maybe it's the tabby Nekomiya-san was talking about. Can't see much from down here. But I bet the drone can. Alright. Gotta break out the specialist tools. For this one. Uh, how do we ascend again? We'll figure it out. I gotcha. I gotcha. Safe and sound. What do you know? Oh, that didn't count? That's gotta be the one. I'm sure Nekomiya-san would appreciate a picture. Even though I'm pretty sure I just took one. There's another. Alright. Hello? Nekomiya-san, I sent you a text. Is that the right one? Phew. What a relief. Yes, that's him, alright. Fantastic work. Yeah, let's max this out right here, right now. Okay, looks like there's only one more to go. Anyway, our last little runaway critter is a black cat. Apparently he lives on Pink Street and is quite fond of the ladies. Oh, he lives there now? <laughs> we can't really be a runaway critter if he's got his new place sort of, sorted out. That's really the only hint I have for you. Sorry if that seems rather vague. No problem. I got this under control. At least you gave me a street. He's a real cutie. In fact, he's practically the talk of the town. I hope he's doing okay. So he likes women, huh? Guess I'll have to find this cat the hard way. And it's Pink Street. I bet there's a lot of pussy. Come on, let's go. Cat that likes women, huh? What exactly am I looking for here? Hello, kitty! Meow! Purr. Purr. Oh, maybe she's got something for me. There we are. It's a black cat! Don't look at me like that. Excuse me. This is Yagami. There's a black cat over there. Maybe it's the one Nekomiya-san was talking about. Is there something I can help you with? Oh, are you his owner? No, that's just a stray, but I do know the guy who takes care of him. He's a stray that lives here, though. Oh, really? He sure is a cute little fella. I was actually thinking of bringing him home with me. <sighs> but if someone's looking for him, then I suppose I should leave him be. Hold that thought for a moment. Let me contact him and see if we can work something out. Besides, I've seen a bunch of cats strolling these streets. If you can't have this one, I'm sure you can find another somewhere. Or you can always, you know, commit a heist at the cat cafe. It's just down the road, I think. Yagami-san, were you able to find him? I think you should come and see for yourself. Huh? Is something going on? I see another cat lover. I'm staring at her right now. Right into her soul. Well? Ah, uh, now I get it. She wants him to... She wants to raise him as her own. <laughs> Got it. If that's the case, then please don't let me stop you. I'm just glad this little guy found himself a good home. Even though he loves the ladies, uh, I'm pretty sure he might two-time as soon as you turn your back on him. You sure you're gonna be okay with that, Nekomiya son? You won't be able to blog about him anymore. It's true that I'll miss him, but if someone's willing to welcome him into that family, then I'm sure he'll live a better life. Out of the spotlight, you know? Please, take good care of him. Wow, you really do have a soft spot for animals, Nekomiya-san. Especially the ones that can't bend for themselves. Mm-hmm. All those pampered pets at the pet shop? I leave them for the other guys. After all, I'm a street cat man. Excuse me? You wouldn't happen to run a blog called Nekomiya's Newsletter, would you? Huh? If you know about my blog, then... Does that mean you're one of my subscribers? <laughs> I knew it! So it is you! And yes, I've been subscribed to you for a long time now. <laughs> you can even say I'm one of your biggest fans. Oh my god, I wish I could just walk down the street and meet one of my biggest subscribers. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> really? Wow, I'm flabbergasted. You're the first person I've met who actually reads my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> now that I see you in person, you kind of remind me of a cat yourself. I mean, that sort of thing. Heart. <laughs> oh, oh, well, well I, I guess that's... Awesome! So, would you, um, like to grab some tea with me? It doesn't have to be now, but... 
I've always wanted to talk cats with the incredible Nikamiya-san. Yeah? Th that would be great. Uh, it's a date then, although you could have just shot me a DM, you know, and shot your shot, but this this works too. Arigatou oh, Yagami-san, I owe you one. I mean, look at me. I'm gonna go have some tea with a girl who reads my blog. You know, the nerve of it all, I can't believe it. Here's a little treat before I go. I didn't have you running all over the place, so... Hey, no worries, pal. Oh, they, they forgot the cat. Hey, guys, I thought you... I thought she was gonna adopt the cat. Hello? Don't go chasing her away, Nikamiya-san. Because this kitten's yours to keep. A friendly guy. That's me. My reputation's up to ten. Okay, we made it. Get in the law office. What's going on? This better be an emergency. Like an actual emergency. Ashina could! What's going on? Does somebody like ran out of coffee or something? Uh oh. What's going on here? Huh? Wait, what the? Is this some kind of SM routine? What are you two girls doing to this poor man? You did it, so admit it already. Huh? I told you I didn't do it! There's no point in lying. Whoa, I've never seen her so fired up. Hey. Hey. Yagami-san! Oh, you came! Yagami-kun. Yagami-kun? Ah. My Fuyu's here too? Mashida could what in the world is going on? I thought this was serious. It is serious. As you can see, Sari-san and Mafuyu-san have accused me of a crime. Oh yeah, I, I can see that. A crime, huh? <sighs> yeah, and I'm innocent. I tell you. What, so you want me to defend you? I'm not a lawyer anymore, okay? Well, here we go. Uh, <laughs> why Mafuyu? First off, in that case, why is Mafuyu involved? Do they literally get a prosecutor? Mm -hmm. I'm not, I just have to drop in on a work-related issue. And you got dragged into this. Mm. Mm-hmm. Sorry's pretty worked up. I made inquiries, and it sounds like Hoshina-kun is really the only one who could have done the deed. <laughs> That's why Mafuyu is prosecuting prosecuting the case for me. I knew it. So you actually have a prosecutor involved. So you need a defense attorney. <sighs> prosecuting? Is that how it is? Uh, what is Hoshino being suspected of? Hey. Shida couldn't what does Sari-san think you did? No. I didn't do anything. She's just upset about her stupid cake. Hmm? Her... cake? I'm gonna refrain from saying the stupid part. Yes, I've been accused of eating the cake she had in the fridge. Huh? This is not just any old stupid cake we're talking about. It was from Goto Gato. It was a special event cake that I waited in line for hours to get. Huh? Huh? Is this really happening right now? Someone got shot, damn it! And we're arguing about cake. Why is Ashina being suspected? Hey. Okay, I'll bite. Not into your cake, though. What is. Why is Ashina kun the most likely suspect? Ashina kun was the only one who even knew about the cake. Only because she was bragging about having got it in the first place. How does that make me a suspect? Okay, we need facts. When was the cake seen last? I went home around 8 p.m. last night, and the cake was most certainly in the fridge at the time. I was here for another two hours or so after that, but nobody else came in. Oh, well, that's not helping your case, is it, Hoshino? Hmm. Then, presuming Hoshino couldn't is innocent, it had to have been eaten between 10 p.m. and this morning. Are you sure you locked up the office? I'm pretty sure it's Shintani. In fact, I'm going to offer him up right now. Okay. Yes, I'm sure. Jeez. There are no signs of forced entry, so I think that rules out any external parties as the culprit. I see. And who unlocked the office this morning, then? Damn it! I thought I'd do the main case route so I wouldn't have to speak so much for my poor throat! And yet here we are. <sighs> Again, the sensei got here before me, but he left as soon as I came in. After that, Mafuyu-san arrived. Sari-san was the last to arrive. <clears throat> and that's when I discovered my cake was gone. She knows testimony. I've obtained evidence. But that would mean Genda Sensei is also a suspect. He could have eaten it while he was alone in the office. No. No way. Genda Sensei is a Japanese sweets man. He doesn't go for Western cakes and pastries. <sighs> That's your justification? Although I guess he wouldn't have had much of a motive if it's true. Hey. You're up against the wall, Hoshina kun. Why don't you just come clean? Huh? Fuyu-san, please! I'm telling you, I didn't do it! 
But the longer you hide from your crimes, the heavier your sentence is going to be, Yoshino-kun. Do you want to get smacked with my hand or an anvil? Oh. <laughs> oh, don't you. Objection! No, you don't have the hair for it, Hoshino, please! If you ask me, Mafuyu-san is pretty suspicious too! <gasps> Excuse me? Did you just yell objection for the fun of it? Hey, you're prosecuting this case. You know, we might as well go all in. Objection! Hey. Uh, we need a judge though to say overruled. And do you care to tell the court what you meant by that little comment? After Mafuyu-san came in, I left my desk to go to the bathroom. And let's just say I was gone for about 15 minutes. I mean, we're missing the cross-examination music, you know? We need to pump that in here. Mafuyu-san could have easily scarfed down the whole cake in that time. Huh? Why would I... This is baseless conjecture. Do you have any evidence to back up your statement? Actually, I do. Huh? Uh-oh. She sounds panicked. Don't think I didn't hear it. When you came in here this morning, <laughs> your stomach growled. <laughs> uh, what? You heard that? Yes. Yes? You skipped breakfast this morning, didn't you? Naturally, you'd be hungry. So you ate cake. Oh my god. Cake for breakfast. The calories, my for you. So you figured you'd just peek in the fridge, and that's when you discovered an exquisite little cake. You couldn't help yourself. You dug right in. Am I wrong? Oh, this is such a ace attorney game. Of course the prosecutor is guilty of something. <laughs> you know? Huh? Yes, you are, as a matter of fact. Besides, a growling stomach is hardly admissible evidence. But you have motive. Before your stomach sounds is evidence. Yagami-san. You're up. Hmm? I am? I thought you were defending yourself. Please take my case and defend me. If you don't, Sari-san will glare at me for the rest of my life. Oh, well, you know, that's not such a bad thing. Well, if we're talking business, I guess I can take this one. Please? I'm counting on you. Mind you, did you notice I said business? You're gonna have to pay me for this. Okay, apparently this is really happening. So the first place a good lawyer starts is the crime scene. I wonder if the rapper's still in the trash. Justice is sweet. Hmm. Search the fridge, search for the cake wrapper. Hey, Mafuya, where'd you go? There you guys are. Just the two of you. Mafuya's standing over there. I heard a cat. That's the first thing we're gonna look for, of course. Don't mind me. Just taking a look around. I see you. You're outside. Oh, look. A cat. Alright. Now that that's out of the way. Gotta focus on you guys. Just wanted to see. Guilt all over your faces. Oh, man. There's so much in this office that I could focus on, but... They're not giving me anything. I mean, like, look at that. What the heck is that? The golf clubs? No stories to tell? Just, oh. We can examine the trash can over here. Ah. I'm seeing that the trash can is empty. It's usually bursting at the seams. Okay. We take out the trash every day now for, on a rotating shift. And who was in charge of it today? Genda Sensei. Huh? Even Genda Sensei pitches in. <laughs> well, it's more of a punishment for him. Sorry, san made him do it. Yagami san. Genda Sensei is really lazy about sorting his trash, so I kind of blew up at him. I said to him, don't you even consider the people who have to take the trash out? Then he said he'd start pitching in on trash duty. <sighs> I'm surprised you had the guts to say that to him. I'm not. Sorry, son. Looks like she's the kind of girl who speaks her mind. Yagami-san. And, you know, we gotta appreciate her forthcomingness. Yagami-san, the other trash cans are empty, too. It seems Genda Sensei takes trash duty seriously. Noted. Thanks for checking. Empty trash can. Hmm. Well, this cake must have had a wrapper. Is there anywhere else it could be? Throw it away? Well, I suppose it could have been washed out with the rest of our containers in the kitchen? Yeah. Let's have a look. Finding that wrapper is going to blow this case wide open. I'm just going to check uh. your pockets. Maybe the cake wrapper's in them. Mafuyu, you, you look guilty as sin. You might as well confess. I'm going to find the truth. I'm searching all over the place. What the? Hmm? So this is the refrigerator where the crime happened. Uh. Hmm? The ice tray's melted. Or did someone forget to freeze it? Or did someone leave the door open this entire time? No. Nah, it couldn't be. Nobody's using ice in the winter, probably. And I didn't see anyone use it yesterday. So... Door was left open. Hmm. But why did it melt? That's interesting. Or maybe someone tripped over the power cord? How about the fridge itself? 
Oh, I guess that was the fridge, even though we were talking about ice. I thought that would have been the freezer. Investigating the kitchen. There's some... Oh, there's the wrapper. Just wanted to check if there was anything else. Nope. No wrappers. It looks like we've got some milk cartons. Oh, sorry. They're milk cartons, not wrappers. They've been washed out and neatly compacted. Yagami-san. Those are Sari-san's milk cartons. They weren't there last night, so whoever was on cleaning duty must have done it. Well, they didn't do a good job, huh? <laughs> Sari-san scolds anyone who doesn't tidy up after themselves. Ah. But there's three of them. She's not drinking that much milk. Is she? I kinda doubt it. Maybe she threw them out for some reason. Sari's milk cart. Investigation is complete. Uh, let's stop the investigation. Well, oh, he's back on his knees. <laughs> Here we are at our respective benches. Yagami-san, are you finished with the investigation? If so, we should start the hearing. You can't act as judge. You're the one who's accusing him. Huh? The hearing? Are we really going to trial with this? Of course. Mafuyu, or should I say, Prosecutor Fuji, are you prepared to present your case? <sighs> Fine. I've been dragged in this far. May as well see it through. Please. Then court is now in session for defendant Issei Hoshino. Prosecutor Fuji, your opening statement, please. Here we go. Uh, well, the prosecution is firmly of the belief that Hoshino-kun is the only viable culprit. And your proof? The defendant is arguing that you yourself could be the culprit. Your Honor, I have a counter-argument to that assertion. Hmm. Proceed, Fu Prosecutor Fuji. If I'd been the one who ate it, something that should be present is missing from the crime scene. Yagami-kun. Right, Yagami-kun? You can corroborate the statement, I take it. Hmm? Me, the cake wrapper. Hmm. If you really ate the cake, something that should exist is missing. The proof of that is... Uh-oh, here we go. What evidence could prove Mafuyu didn't eat the cake this morning? Uh, well, let's review our evidence. Starting with Hoshino's testimony, he was alone in the office until 10 p.m. last night. He, Genda arrived first thing in the morning and left the office after Hoshino came to work. Mafuyu entered after that and lastly Saori. That's when Saori discovered that her cake was missing from the fridge. Mafuyu's stomach sounds. When Mafuyu got to the office that morning, she was so hungry her stomach growled loudly. After that, Hoshino went to the bathroom and was not looking at the fridge for 15 minutes. Empty trash can, a waste bin with no garbage in it at all. It's clean. Maybe even too clean. Sari's milk carton, found in the kitchen. It's been cleanly washed and neatly folded. And melted ice, all the ice cubes in Genda Law Office's freezer ended up melting for some reason. Well, what's missing is the wrapper. So I guess we start with the empty trash can. The fact that there's nothing in it at all. Here we go. The trash can at the scene was empty because its contents were removed this morning. Okay. Yes, Ken the Sensei was the first one in the office today. And that's probably when he took out the trash. Which means, if Mafuyu had eaten the cake, she would have had to discard the wrapper afterward. There should be something in the waste bin. And since we've all confirmed that the trash can is empty... Hey! Oh, you have a point. Right, there was no wrapper in the trash can, which means I couldn't have eaten the cake. And we've thoroughly searched every trash can. They're all clean as a whistle. I see. That is pretty conclusive evidence. Nope. Hold it! Hold it! Sorry, son. I can present a counter-argument here. Okay. The court will hear the defense's objection. I didn't say objection, but sure. We'll, we'll treat it as such. While the rapper may not be in a trash can, we can't rule out that you didn't hide the evidence. <laughs> objection. Predictable, Yagami-kun. I'd like to present the court with some new evidence. New evidence? Mm -hmm. New evidence? Why wasn't this a discovery? God damn it. While you were searching the room, I performed my own investigation. Naturally. That's when this document on Sari's desk caught my eye. It's a notice of a planned power outage. Oh, the melted ice. Huh? Relevance, prosecutor. Notice of power outage. It seems there was a blackout last night, scheduled from 11 p.m. to 9 a.m. the next morning. I do remember Genda Sensei saying something about that. He wanted he warned the whole office not to keep anything in the fridge or it would spoil. So what, did Genda open the fridge, discover that all the food in the fridge had spoiled? So he tossed it all out. Like the milk cartons, he emptied them because they would have gone off. 
I see now. Hey. Oh, I remember that too. But I had something urgent come up, so I left and forgot all about it. Hmm? Then that means... Precisely. If the cake was left inside the fridge with no power on, it would have spoiled. Despite being winter, it's been unseasonably warm. Hmm. And if anyone ate it, they'd know it was spoiled after a single bite. Right. And there's no way anyone would go through with eating the whole thing. Hmm. But the whole cake has vanished. Someone must have devoured the fresh cake. And there's only one span of time where that's possible. Not this morning after the cake would have spoiled, but last night, when it was still fresh. <sighs> oh. Hey, wait! I'm afraid so, Hoshinokun. The only one who could have eaten it was the one who closed up. Hoshinokun, it can only be you. Ah! No way! <laughs> we gotta play. I, I gotta. I gotta superimpose the music here. <laughs> Objection! We gotta object. My client's in danger here. Objection! Hmm? Excuse me. Does the defense have further arguments? Yep. Yes. I think it's too early to pronounce a verdict. There's one more possibility. Huh? This better be good. The cake wasn't the only thing that went missing from the fridge, and I have evidence to prove it. Uh... The milk cartons? Reveal the evidence! The milk Sari-san put in the fridge has been dumped, washed out, and neatly compacted. In other words, the milk was also removed from the fridge. Three cartons to be precise, and no one loves milk that much. Surely! Surely not! Surely no one's been guzzling milk overnight! Genda-sensei must have done it during his cleaning duty, an act forced upon him by the victim herself. Hmm. I'm not following Yagami. Let's consider, what would drive Genda-sensei to do this? Why would he discard three milk cartons at once if there was some left? You're right, that's certainly an odd thing to do. Why? There is one particular piece of evidence points to the logic behind his actions. This sentence doesn't make sense, but you know what? Just roll with it, okay? It's the power outage. What evidence explains why Gen Sensei threw away three milk cartons at the same time? Planned outage occurred late last night before the incident at the law office. If we zoom in, it's in Japanese. That doesn't help me. Check this out. The power outage. Sorry. The power outage. Well. Defense, does this line of reasoning have a point? What would happen to milk left inside the fridge for a whole night without electricity? I believe it would go bad. And if Gendo Sensei, who had cleaning duty, found the milk that had gone bad, he probably would throw it away. Oh. Oh. Then. It seems the prosecution is beginning to see the light. I was about to make a light Yagami joke, but no, it wouldn't have fit. <laughs> Which means the true culprit that ate Sari San's cake is. Nature. Nobody. Ha! Ah, no one ate the cake. In other words, there is no culprit to blame. Huh? What? I can't believe this. Hey. You're implying Genda Sensei threw away the spoiled cake? Yeah, that's about the sum of it. And this trial could have all been resolved if we just waited for Genda Sensei to come back. Sari said herself that she hurried home last night due to an urgent matter. The outage slipped her mind entirely. Thus, when Geta Sensei found the cake had spoiled, he did his duty and discarded it. So you're saying I kind of jumped to conclusions? Yes, I think so. Oh, well, speak of the devil and he shall appear. Oh. Wow, quite a crowd here. Brings you by, Yagami and Bafuyukun. Oh, welcome back, Geta Sensei. Say, who left the cake and all that milk in the fridge overnight? <sighs> Didn't I practically beat you guys over the head about the power outage? And on the day I had cleaning duty of all days. It's rude to make people throw away spoiled food, you know. <sighs> oh, sorry! Take the L! I don't think you take the L often, but... Damn! Must hit hard today! Especially after queuing for hours for that cake. Oh. I believe the words were... Don't you even consider the people who have to take the trash out? Your words, right, Shirasaki-kun? <laughs> well, having to deal with all that spoiled food, I understand the meaning all too well now. I... I... I'm so sorry! Whew. Case closed! Well... Okay, Thank we're just gonna stare at each other for a good five seconds before speaking. Thank you, Yagami-san! Looks like I'm cleared of suspicion. Not quite. The confetti hasn't rained down. 
but I don't suspect that there's any lined up ready to, you know, disperse. <laughs> and I said that Sari signed a cleaning duty for one month straight, starting tomorrow. I'm sorry. There are no words to express my remorse. As my defense attorney, I'd like you to have this, Yagami-san. Oh, wow, okay. I was half joking about getting paid, but nice to see that you pay your invoices, Hoshino. Thanks. Gotta say, though, I'm pretty shocked. Sari-san stays cool under pressure, but as soon as sweets got involved, you have no idea how long I'd been looking forward to that cake. I can appreciate that, but as lawyers, we need to keep our heads on straight at all times. I'll work on that. Case closed, I guess. Pretty turbulent day for the criminal justice system. <laughs> now to find out who steals people's eyes. Kamurocho's pretty tense right now, no thanks to the Matsugane family and the Kyore clan at each other's throats. Not to mention my old law office getting involved in a spat. Better ask Agashi about it. Okay, well, the Mas Masakazu Kurimoto murder has been added to my case file. We'll review that first thing. For now, let's speak to my colleagues. I heard someone got shot at the Matsugane family office last night. Yeah. Was it someone you knew? Nah, just a name I'd heard. Wait, were you actually worried about me? <laughs> no, not at all. Worried about her cake, more like. Get the sensei. Hey, Yagami. Are you butting heads with Hamura? He called me to complain about Oh, what a tattletale. Him. He said to keep your nose out of his case. What a little bitch. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> Fine by me. Just wanted to make sure you're okay. I'll keep my red I'm nose good. out of the case. He's a little preoccupied now, anyway. There was a shooting at the Matsugane family office. Yeah, I heard. This damn city gets rougher every day. Really? I'm pretty sure the city can was a whole lot rougher in the past. Surely. Anyway, let's meet with Agashi. Let's go.